I'm not a lawyer, but there was a preliminary hearing today in the ASAP Rocky first degree assault case. And thanks to some amazing reporting, I'm going to tell you what happened. Now, before we get into today's hearing, let's talk about the alleged incident. So the suit says that on November 6, 2021, ASAP Rocky contacted this guy. And his name is Terrell Efron, a.k.a. ASAP Relly. He was a member of ASAP Mob. And according to reports, he was ASAP Rocky's former high school best friend. So on that day, the two met up and an altercation ensued. ASAP Rocky, according to this lawsuit, allegedly pulled out a firearm and, quote, purposefully pointed it in the direction of ASAP Relly and then discharged that firearm. ASAP Relly was struck by bullet fragments from those shots and had to seek immediate medical attention. Now, according to these documents, a portion of this incident was actually captured on video. And after an investigation by LAPD, ASAP Rocky was arrested on April 20th, 2022. So based on these allegations, ASAP Relly is suing ASAP Rocky for assault, battery, intentional infliction of emotional distress, negligence, and in September of this year, ASAP Relly filed another lawsuit for defamation against ASAP Rocky and his attorney because Relly says that Rocky and his team went on a press campaign painting him as a liar, money grabber, and a blackmailer. So those are the civil lawsuits, but the hearing was regarding ASAP Rocky's criminal charges that he could be facing. So now let's get to those. According to this tweet by the Black Letter Law, ASAP Relly appears to be represented by Johnny Depp's two lead counsels. And at one point while Relly was on the stand, things began to get heated between ASAP Rocky's attorney and ASAP Relly. Here are a couple tweets from Black Letter Law. ASAP Rocky's attorney says, I'm not your bro. Relly says, you talking to me like you know me. Relly, you think it's a game? Rocky's attorney, no, I don't. Relly, so why you laughing, tough guy? Another tweet from Black Letter Law recaps more of the incident from that night, saying that Relly was upset with Rocky because he disregarded some of his project and made open-ended promises about partnering with his music label and clothing line. And then on the night of the alleged incident, Rocky texts Relly saying, W-Y-A or where you at? The two then met in front of a parking garage and after a confrontation, ASAP Rocky walked away and Relly followed him. Rocky then allegedly discharged his firearm three to four times. Now, the last part on this tweet says that Relly was upset that Rocky is essentially, quote, top capo and got put in a good position because of ASAP mob, yet other members of the group are struggling. One is allegedly on drugs and homeless, and another one lives in the projects. Relly was the only witness of the day, and the court ordered that everyone should return back on Monday, November 20th at 10 a.m. Hopefully they'll have cameras that day so I can include clips. And before I go, just a reminder, these are all allegations and my recap of the events comes from the plaintiff's lawsuit. So obviously it's only his side of the story. So based on today and whatever happens on November 20th, the judge will decide if there's enough evidence for this case to actually go to trial. And if it does, I'll be watching. A lot of people are saying this didn't really get a lot of coverage, but let me know if y'all remember this.